Hello Legends. In this video, we're gonna be installing a private AI chatbot on our computer. So this is gonna be completely free. It's also gonna be completely private. It will not connect to the internet and will also be able to download unrestricted LLMs. So I'm not saying you're gonna do anything illegal, but sometimes our tasks, while not malicious in nature, just require an unrestricted model. So we'll also be able to do this. So to run through the steps we're taking in this video, first we're going to download and install Olama from olama.com. We're then going to install the Olama command line on our computer, which will then give us access to installing various LLMs. And we're gonna start off by installing the Llama 3.1, which is the latest and most powerful LLM that we'll be able to get from Olama. Then we'll be installing Open Web UI, which is gonna give us that chat GPT-like interface that we can run locally on our computer. And then we'll be installing Docker so that we can actually install this web interface in a super simple way. All right, so I just introduced a bunch of different things there. Before I break down bit by bit exactly what it is that we're doing and what all these things mean, let me just demo what we're gonna get by the end of this video. So as you can see, this is pretty much like chat GPT. If we go up here, we can choose our models. So if you remember, the first model we installed was the Llama 3.1, and then I also installed the uncensored version. And let's go ahead and ask it a question. Hi, how are you? How cool is that? Our own chat GPT-like private LLM conversation hosted on our own computer. Now, one of the coolest things is over here, you can actually attach files into the chat. So now you can actually have private conversations with your own files that you do not wanna share online with any LLMs. So you can just drop them into this chat and then ask questions against those files. Okay, so we've just demoed what we're gonna be getting. Now let's scroll down a little bit and go to the definitions and help section. So what is Olama? Essentially, Olama is a program that'll let us run different AI language models on our computer. They'll be able to understand and generate text and they work locally on our machine without connecting to the internet. So this is how we get a private system on our computer. So that's what we're doing here. We're downloading and installing Olama on our computer, and then we're gonna install the Olama command line. So installing the Olama command line lets us actually access these LLMs, and then we install the command line within a terminal. So what is a terminal? So a terminal, which is also called a command prompt or console, is basically a text-based interface for us interacting with our computer. So it's essentially a window where you type in commands and you communicate with your computer and you're not using mouse clicks or icons or menus. So it's there's no real visual interface. It's just text-based commands. And to access the terminal on your computer, depending on which operating system you have, if you have Windows, you can follow these steps. For Mac, you'll follow these steps. And this is what I'll be doing in this video. And then for Linux, you can follow these steps. And then finally, we spoke about Open Web UI and then Docker. So Open Web UI is an open source web interface for interacting with large language models. And it basically gives us the same experience as what we have with ChatGPT. So the fact that it's open source means that it's publicly available and it's free for us to download and use. And yeah, and it just creates a user-friendly way for us to communicate with our LLMs directly on our local machine, i.e. on our computer. And then Docker is a developer tool which essentially packs applications and software in a very easy way so that you can run it on your computer. Now, in our case, Docker massively simplifies the setup process of Open Web UI, which is perfect for us because we're beginners and we wanna keep things simple. So Docker is just such a massive help in getting this up and running. Okay, so I hope I demystified some of the unknowns in this process. So now we know that we're installing a program called Olama on our computer and that program is gonna let us access free and private LLMs on our computer. And then in order for us to interact with those LLMs in a chat GPT like interface, we're gonna download and install web UI, and then we're gonna use Docker to help with the installation and setup of this. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is go to olama.com. So this is the Olama website. Let's start by clicking download. And now you can choose your operating system. So Mac, Linux, or Windows, but I'm gonna be using Mac because that's my computer. 
I'm gonna click download for Mac. So after your package finishes downloading, just open it up and install it. So from Mac, I'm prompted to move the file to my applications folder. Okay, so now on the pop-up for Olama, let's click next. And to install the Olama command line, let's just click install. And if you have secure settings like I do, just enter your password. Okay, so at this stage, we've just downloaded and installed Olama from olama.com. And we've installed the Olama command line by clicking the install button. And now, as you can see, to install our LLM, we just need to run this command command. So let's copy this, click finish. Now let's open up a terminal. So I'm going to spotlight search terminal. And I'm going to paste in the command that I just copied. And now as you can see, I'm downloading and installing the Llama 3.1 package, which is 4.7 gigabytes. And it's going to take me roughly 11 minutes to download and install. So while this is working, it's magic. Let me actually show you what other LLMs you can download and install. So back in the Olama website, let's go to models. Okay, and we can see a bunch of different LLMs that we can download and use locally on our own computer. And up top, we have the Llama 3.1, which is Meta's state of the art model. Now, if I click into this and then scroll down, so this is Meta's competitor to models like GPT-4, GPT-40, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So this is a fantastic LLM to run locally on your computer. Now on this side, we actually have the command that we run in our terminal. So if you remembered from our installation instructions just a moment ago, this is actually what we ran in a terminal. Now Llama 3.1 comes in three different versions the 8B, 70B, and 405. So we're using the 8B version, which is trained on 8 billion parameters. But if you want a sharper version, you can just click here and choose the 70B or 405B. And you can see the 8B is 4.7 gigabytes. The 70B is 40 gigabytes. And then the 405 is a whopping 229 gigabytes. So let's say you choose 70B, then the command over here actually updates. So you can see it's 3.1 colon 70B. Once again, you would just copy this and run it in your terminal. Now a word to the wise, I would start with the eight because this will be the lowest amount of computing power requirement for your computer. Something like eight gig, 16 gig of RAM will be pretty good for this. But then the higher you go and the bigger the size of the LLM, you're gonna need more and more computing power, which means that your requests will be slow and your computer will probably be buggy. So yeah, just start with the eight. So while we're in the models tab, you can actually scroll down and you can put some of these models into ChatGPT and then ask it like which model would be good for different tasks and it can give you some recommendations. For example, if you look at CodeGemma, this is supposedly a good model for coding tasks. So if you click into CodeGemma, once again, you've got different versions. So you have the 2B, 7B, and then here is the exact same command you would run in your terminal. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that you can actually get some uncensored versions of LLMs. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and over here you have the Llama 2 Uncensored. So this is the model before the Llama 3. And if you click into here, once again, you've got multiple versions. You've got the 7B and the 70B. And to download and run this on your own computer, you can just copy this command and put it into the terminal. So while we're here, our Llama 3.1 LLM has finished downloading and installing on our machine. So we can actually write a message now and speak with this LLM. So let's type, hi, how are you? And here we go. This is our very first private LLM response that was running and generated totally on our own computer without being connected to the internet. Now, just to show you while we're here, so let's actually install this as well. So I'm gonna copy this. Now, I'm not gonna run it in this terminal because right now I've actually got my Llama 3.1 open and running in this terminal. So I'm gonna close this terminal and open up a brand new one. Okay, so I've got a brand new terminal. Now I'm just going to paste in that command. As you can see, Olama run Llama 2 dash uncensored, Olama run Llama 2 dash uncensored, and I'm just gonna hit enter. Okay, and we're underway. We're now downloading and installing it. As you can see, this is 3.8 gigs. It'll take us roughly around 10 minutes. And this matches up with the file size that we have here for the seven billion parameter version. So 3.8 gigs. So let's let this unfold in the background and let's get back to our next steps. Okay, so we've just installed Llama 3.1. We've asked it a quick question and we've got our very first private LLM response. And we're also now installing an unrestricted model. So our next step is to go to openwebui.com so we can download and install OpenWebUI. Okay, so this is the OpenWebUI website. And here's a preview of the interface that we're gonna be downloading and installing on our local machine. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to ChatGPT. Okay, so let's click on Get Open Web UI. Okay, so we've just opened up a GitHub page. 
Okay, so we've just opened up a GitHub page and GitHub is a place where programmers can store, share and collaborate on their code projects. So this is how we're going to be accessing the open web UI application. So let's scroll down a little bit more until we get to here where it says installation with default configuration. So since we have Olama on our computer, we're going to be running this code in the terminal. But before we can run this code, we first have to download Docker. Now, once again, like I mentioned, Docker is gonna massively simplify the setup process for open web UI. We don't need to use Docker, but we want to use it because we're beginners and want this to be super simple. So to download and install Docker, let's go to docker.com. So this is the Docker website it'll be able to pick up what your computer is. And as you can see, there are multiple options for downloading Docker to your Mac, Windows, or Linux computer. So let's go ahead and download. Okay, and since I'm on a Mac, I'm prompted to drag the application into my applications folder. And now it's just finishing the installation process. Awesome, and now Docker is finished installing. Okay, so let's open up Docker. And here is the Docker interface. And to continue with our open web UI installation, Let's just copy this command. So let's click over here and open up a brand new terminal and paste that command in and hit enter. Awesome, and now we're installing Open Web UI with the help of Docker. Now a quick note, you have to have the Docker application open and running in order for you to install this. So if you don't actually open this up and you try and run the command here, you just get and get an error. So if you get an error, make sure you open up the Docker application. Awesome, and now this is finished downloading and installing with the help of Docker. This should also take about five minutes. And as you can see, we've now got our first application within Docker. So to open up our application, you just need to click on this. So now the first thing we're prompted to do is to sign in. Now this information is gonna be stored on a local computer. It's not gonna be sent off to Open Web UI or anything like that. This is totally local to our computer. And if you look over here at the URL, this is localhost. And this essentially means that it's powered by the local computer. So we're not connected to the internet via this URL right now. Once again, this is totally private on our computer. All right, and since this is our first time using this app, we have to sign up. So let's enter our name, email, and choose a password, and then hit create account. And that's it. Now we've just signed into our own locally hosted open web UI interface. So as you can see, this is pretty much like chat GPT. If we go up here, we can choose our model. So if you remember, the first model we installed was the Llama 3.1, and then I also installed the uncensored version. So I'm just gonna choose the Llama 3.1. You can set this as default. So I'm gonna set it as default for all of my conversations. And let's go ahead and ask it a question. Hi, how are you? How cool is that? Our own chat GPT-like private LLM conversation hosted on our own computer. So there's a bunch of cool things you can do here. So one of them is that you can speak this out loud. You can vote if it was a good response or a bad response. You can continue this response or regenerate the response. Now, one of the coolest things is over here, you can actually attach files into the chat. So now you can actually have private conversations with your own files that you do not want to share online with any LLMs. So you can just drop them into this chat and then ask questions against those files. And if you go into workspaces over here, you now have some more settings. So we have models where we can choose which model we're using. And like I mentioned before, you can come into here and just download any other model. If you're unsure about which model might be useful for your specific task, just copy these into ChatGPT, let it know which task you need to complete and then say, hey, which model do you recommend? So let's say we go into Mixtral. And like I said before, you would just copy this and then paste it into your terminal. You'd go copy and paste it in and hit enter. And then as soon as it finishes downloading, installing here, it'll be available here for you to have chats with. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of different functionality and settings that you can configure. If you wanna see another video of me exploring the different functionality of this open web UI application, please drop some comments below. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun using your own free and private LLM totally on your own computer. All right, see ya.